Griffith has been played that way all the year. Minot kicks the ball to centre half forward. Morrow can't take the mark behind it. Terry Waters, who kept the Copeland Trophy winner steer out of the side. The ball is onto the half forward line. Look at the move. It's Tully. Tully's a beautiful kick to this and kill the man in trouble on the back line. Beautiful mark. Beautiful mark as we were looking back upfield to Ian Graham. Threw himself at the ball and held it to his chest. Kennedy in a spot of bother in the back line as Ian Graham. At set a half forward, a chance for the Magpies' second goal. The kick is falling short. It's into the pocket. Can cover eight over towards Bulldog. Morrow to Bulldog it was. Now it's over towards Doggy Rowland. Rowland a kick into attack. The ball going into the goal square. Two Collingwood defenders there, including Terry Waters. And they chop off the approach to goal. 39 points to 23. That's the score. And we're nearly 20 minutes into the second quarter. And Kilda fighting hard to get back into the game. And doing much better now than in the first quarter when Collingwood just swept them aside. The kick out is short, but uh, Patterson playing in front takes the mark and was just about to be across the line. 39 points to 23. Peter Patterson, left foot kick. Jersey number 17, towards the half. Minot, hand pass to Stewart. Stewart's kick is scragged because he was tackled. He was off balance. The ball has gone past Theodore, who did well early in play. Cleared out by Urquhart again, I think. The ball is onto the half forward line, but it's going right back there to where that kick took place. Neil, not O'Neill. <laughs> in the cricketers again. 13-9 to 8-9, five goals a difference, and we're 16 minutes into the third quarter. Urquhart with the ball. Urquhart came on as 19th man. He replaced McKenzie, who was KO'd in the first quarter. Straight to the centre. Nobody will mark that behind. Good play by Price. Waited for it, dwelt on it, and won the verdict. Kicks the ball into the full forward area. Oh, excellent mark to Waters. Thought he had lost the ball and grabbed it, snafford it left-handed. It was a very good mark. I'm... I don't say astounded is the word, but I'm rather surprised by the number of Collingwood forwards that fly from behind. Waters is in the wars. He's had his left hand taped up, but of more concern is his right knee. He seems to be favouring it as he kicks. Big scoring match and an exciting one. Bonnie from the knockdown punches to the half forward line. Kevin Roberts tried to knock it on and missed. The ball's come back to the centre towards Wayne Richardson. Just gets past the umpire crouch, nearly ran him over. A nice tiptoe. The ball onto the half forward line and the mark is to Collingwood to McKenna. McKenna waiting for the hand pass, waiting to play on, but couldn't do so. 17 kicks to McKenna, 11 mark, the pass to Ian Graham. Ten and a half forward, the full forward, brilliant football. There's only one thing the matter with Graham, I think that he's kicking suspect, whether it's his old injury, but he's not kicking with power. He's about uh, 40 yards, uh, 35 to 40 yards. He should kick it, he's got to kick it if Collingwood had to be stay in this fight. Oh, it fell short, and it's a mark to Collingwood. Well, it's Waters that has got it. I think Waters is a pretty accurate kick. Once again, Graham never kicked a lot of distance. I think maybe he could have looked for somebody when you're a bit dicky. Waters runs around, kicks with his left foot, and he's stopped it all right, and the woods are back. They're right back within the grasping distance. They're only one point down. 